One of the greatest lessons in food science is Dr. Vaigai Puyal's masterclass on how to make the perfect uthapam. Unfortunately, the humor in his style of delivery and the waiter's reaction has made us all ignore the gastronomic genius in his actual explanation. Let's explore that. Most people assume that the use of water on a cast iron griddle is to wash off bits of previously cooked dosa. That's not the only reason. When you cook on cast iron repeatedly with oil, it polymerizes and forms a thin layer that is non-stick. This is what's called seasoning cast iron. So to make sure that dosas don't stick, you must not wash the surface too rigorously with rough materials like steel wool. That's why he recommends a coconut twig based broomstick. Will not remove the thin non-stick layer of polymerized fat. The other science reason for sprinkling water in between making dosas is that cast iron does not transfer heat evenly. Some parts of the surface will be hotter than other parts. This is why sometimes homemade dosas often have uneven browning, some dark spots and some white spots. So using water and a broom not only washes, but also evens out the temperature across the surface. Liquids always transfer heat more evenly because of convection than solids. When you make a dosa, the goal is to use the smallest amount of batter to make a dosa with the largest surface area. This will ensure the thinnest and therefore the crispiest dosa. Because more surface area exposed to heat equals more evaporation of water equals more crispness. But an utapam is trickier. If you make the surface area larger, then you don't give enough time for the toppings to cook because the bottom will brown too fast. If it's too small, then the thickness of the utapam will be too much and the insides will not cook. So neither too big nor too small. How you cut vegetables determines their final texture after you cook. The smaller you cut, the greater the total surface area, so the quicker they cook and the more crisp they become. With onions and carrots, cutting them really small also ensures that the Maillard browning reaction happens more efficiently. And note carefully how he recommends not putting the onions and carrots from a low height, but from a higher height. Again, that is Michelin star level advice. If you want even distribution of something, you need to drop it from a higher height. Important for salt, podi, onions and carrots. Rule zero of delicious food is use as much fat as you can. Fats transport flavor. Because the outer circumference is larger, he recommends 10 ladles of ghee on the outside and 6 on the inside. Ghee will also ensure even heat transfer. Remember, liquids transfer heat evenly because of convection. And as water evaporates, you need all that ghee to ensure that the Maillard browning reaction happens evenly across the Uthapam. Red color. Again, that means more Maillard reaction, more deliciousness.